OpenAI kicked off as a nonprofit powerhouse with one crystal clear mission. To build tools that lift that up, that make it so that new people can create better art, better content, write better novels that we all enjoy. Build safe AGI and spread the benefits to everyone on the planet. But let's be real, guys. If you've been following the AI scene like I have, you know that's not how the story played out. Fast forward to today, and OpenAI's flipped the script entirely. They've morphed into a for-profit juggernaut, raked in billions through 11 funding rounds from about 60 big-time investors, and now they're sitting pretty as the world's most valuable private company at a staggering $500 billion valuation. Yeah, you heard that right, half a trillion bucks. This shift has left a ton of folks, including tech-savvy dudes like us in our 20s and 30s, scratching our heads and feeling skeptical. That pure, idealistic drive to chase AGI for humanity's sake, it's gotten tangled up in the chase for cold, hard cash. And OpenAI isn't the only player in this game. Chinese AI labs are innovating like mad, but with a twist that's got everyone talking. Stick around because we're diving deep into how this all unfolded, why China's dropping free open models, and what it means for the future of AI. Trust me, by the end, you'll see why this isn't just tech talk. It's about the hidden costs we're all paying as humanity barrels toward AGI. Let's rewind to December 2015, when OpenAI first burst onto the scene. The co-chairs? None other than Sam Altman and Elon Musk. These two visionaries, along with nine founding members, pledged up to $1 billion of their own money to fuel this ambitious quest, create safe artificial general intelligence, and make sure the world reaps the rewards. Picture it, a bunch of brilliant minds in a lab pushing boundaries without the pressure of Wall Street breathing down their necks. For the first few years, that's exactly what happened. They tinkered, researched, and innovated. Then, boom, 2018 rolls around, and they strike gold with GPT, an evolution of Google's 2017 Transformer model. It took them about two and a half years and roughly $130 million to get there. Once they glimpsed the raw power of what GPT could become, the incentives started shifting from a noble scientific pursuit to, well, let's call it a race to monetize and lock it down. The first red flag, GPT-2. It was slated for a full release in February 2019, but OpenAI pumped the brakes, citing harmful misuse. They held back until public pressure forced their hand later that year. Smart move for safety or a clever way to protect their edge, you decide. Then, in March 2019, they announced a pivot from pure nonprofit to what they dubbed a capped profit organization. The cap? A whopping 100 times return on initial investments. Sounds generous, right? Like, who's really gonna hit that multiplier? Hold that thought, we'll circle back. This restructure split OpenAI into two arms. The original nonprofit, OpenAI Incorporated, which still calls the shots as the sole controlling shareholder, and the new for-profit entity, OpenAI Global LLC. The nonprofit keeps the high-level decisions, but the LLC opens the floodgates for venture capital, banks, private investors, and employee equity. The only rule, no more than 100 times, returns for investors. Anything beyond funnels back to the nonprofit. On paper, it balances the mission with growth, but in reality, it creates this weird tug of war. The nonprofit side clings to the dream of safe AGI for all, while the for-profit arm dangles massive wealth in front of investors. And hey, if you're a guy in your 30s grinding in tech or finance, you know how incentives like that can warp everything. Fast forward to July 2019. Microsoft jumps in with a $1 billion investment, valuing OpenAI at around $5 billion. That kicked off the investor frenzy. Since then, we've seen heavy hitters like Wells Fargo, Sequoia, Andreessen Horowitz, and dozens more pile on. Round after round, the valuation skyrockets to $500 billion today. Microsoft's initial stake, if they cashed out now, it'd be worth about $100 billion, a clean 100 times return in just six years. And get this, OpenAI doesn't even need to turn a profit for investors to win big. It's like a high stakes game of hot potato. Each funding round pumps up the valuation, letting early birds sell to newcomers at massive markups. No actual profits required, just hype, promise, and that AGI dream keeping the ball rolling. In September 2024, OpenAI tried to ditch the nonprofit roots entirely and go full for profit. Talk about showing your cards, this move screamed profit over purpose to a lot of us watching from the sidelines. Public backlash exploded, with skeptics calling out how a once open AI pioneer was turning secretive and proprietary. 
By May 2025, they backed off, facing massive resistance, including that bombshell letter, Not for Private Gain, which hammered home OpenAI's original charitable mission and nailed down what AGI really means. Instead, they settled on a public benefit corporation PBC structure. PBCS let companies chase goals without being slaves to investor demands. Sounds better, right? Except they axed the 100 times cap. Now there's no ceiling on returns. Founding members and early investors like Microsoft, they're already past that old limit, and the sky's the limit now. This whole saga got me thinking about the founding fathers, those American legends who drafted the Constitution. They knew unchecked power could corrupt, even in a land of opportunity. A GUI's the same. Massive potential to enrich lives and bank accounts. But without the right checks, greed takes over. Sadly, OpenAI's structure, and others like it, feels more like a loophole-ridden mess than a solid framework. And speaking of others, this isn't just an OpenAI problem. Let's hop over to Anthropic. In 2021, 7x OpenAI employees bolted to start their own thing, focusing on AI, safety at the bleeding edge. But to fund it, they snagged $500 million from Sam Bankman Fried and FTX in April 2022. Yeah, that guy, the crypto king who crashed and burned. When FTX imploded, their stake in Anthropic went up for auction in 2024, fetching $884 million, a 76% return despite the scandal. If they'd held on, that $500 million would be worth $15 billion today, a 30 times multiplier in under four years. Anthropic's valuation shot from startup to $183 billion in four years. XAI, Elon's brainchild, launched in 2023 with blistering speed. Think building massive data centers in months. But to fuel it, they merged with X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, in May 2024, ditching PBC for full for profit. Latest round, $20 billion, mostly from Nvidia, pushing valuation to $200 billion. Mistral in Paris, started with $117 million in 2023, now $14 billion two years later. These pure play AI firms are valuation rockets, but the fuel is investor cash chasing AGI gold. Now, what about China? They're not just catching up, they're gunning for the lead, especially in EVS and now AI. But here's the head scratcher. Why are Chinese labs like Zipu, Moonshot, and others releasing top tier models as open source, free for anyone to copy? Billions spent just to give it away? Dig deeper and it's all about incentives again. By going open, they're grabbing global spotlight. We're talking about their models because they're accessible, beating US proprietary ones in benchmarks and user polls. It's smart PR, build hype, attract talent, and position China as the benevolent AI leader. But as they pull ahead, expect that openness to fade. They've served their purpose, except for one standout, DeepSeek. These guys have the cleanest setup I've seen. Founded by Liang Wenbin, who runs Highflyer, a $10 billion hedge fund using ML for trades. They stockpiled GPUs early before US bans kicked in. Over 10,000 A100s in 2021 alone, and estimates say up to 50,000 H100s equivalents. Self-funded by Highflyer, no desperate VC rounds. Liang's got 99% voting rights, so it's innovation for innovation's sake. They're hiring top talent to push China ahead without the valuation circus. Compare that to US labs racing each other into absurd bubbles. It's like America's eating its own tail. Don't get me wrong, giants like Meta, Google, ByteDance, Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent are pouring billions into AI too, but they're established publics or backed by massive cores with R and D buffers. If AGI flops or under delivers, they'll pivot. Pure plays like OpenAI, Anthropic, XAI, they're all in on the dream and a bust could sting hard. Trillions in valuations built on hype, incentives skewed toward wealth over welfare. But maybe it's the price tag for humanity's shot at AGI, our features and bugs rolled into one chaotic push. What do you think? Drop a comment. Is this inevitable or can we course correct? Hit like if you're hooked on AI drama. Subscribe for more deep dives and I'll catch you in the next one.